Crystal, c'est l'histoire d'une fille qui qui trouve pas sa place dans la société. And ends up, you know, going out onto a winter pond and then falling through the ice. And in fact, the whole show sort of transpires while she's under the ice, she has a vision. Elle va rentrer dans son subconscient qui va être une transformation de la réalité. Allegorically speaking, it's this idea that sometimes to get to sort of the most brilliant parts of ourselves, we have to go to these deep depths and get in touch with the sort of darker perhaps side of ourselves, but then bring that up to the light. It seems like a very natural extension of Cirque du Soleil to bring the performance to ice and to actually take ice disciplines and push them further uh, as Cirque always does. Good afternoon to you all. A pleasure to see you for week three. We're very happy with where we're at, I believe. Le cirque explore déjà la possibilité de produire un spectacle sur glace depuis au moins une bonne dizaine d'années. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, puff. On s'est fait approcher il y a à peu près un an pour faire renaître cette idée-là. We just begin uh, office, which is um, the part that everybody's at their desk. The crazy, crazy automatic, and they're working so hard. They're getting crazy and crazier. That's the second rehearsal of that, and we just had two hours so far, which is pretty, pretty good. So that tells me that I can add a lot of choreography, which is great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Aujourd'hui, on enregistre avec Mathieu Daisy. Il joue de la basse électrique et de la contrebasse. Des fois, les, les logiciels ils ont des super beaux sons, mais ça n'aura jamais justement l'input qu'un un instrumentiste peut nous apporter. Dans Cristal, on va dans plein de styles différents de musique pour illustrer les différents univers qu'elle imagine. Et donc, pour trouver l'unité de ce show-là, il fallait s'y prendre d'une autre façon. C'est pas dans le style. C'est vraiment quand tu écoutes toute la musique du show que tu vois « Ah, OK, le thème, tu sais, je l'ai entendu. » Ce thème, il revient quelques fois dans le show pour nous rappeler que tout ça, ça se passe pendant qu'il est sous l'eau dans le fond. So today, we are presenting an acrobatic presentation of where we are right now. The goal of this is to make sure that everybody in the company knows where we are in terms of evolution in the creation of the show. On vous propose aujourd'hui une dizaine de performances. Ouais. Je dirais c'est encore une version à peu près liminaire, surtout côté acrobatique. And music, go! I see to have lights installed and everything. Well, I'm just looking at that ramp up there, and I'm hoping they're not going to make me go down it. <laughs> we have all our ramps, so now we're going to start working extra hard. These ramps are they're big, but they're going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Welcome to Block 2 and Week 8. <laughs> As you've seen uh, coming into the building, the set is here, yes! 
Also, uh, all other technical uh, aspects are up in the air as well. So lighting, video, sound as well. Uh, just one note, we're going six days a week, starting uh, this week, all right? So longer hours, uh, longer weeks. We're going through a lot together. It's a process. We're really pushing along with the numbers and we made a lot of progress. So even though we're on the ice a lot, I feel like every minute on the ice is very well spent. Yeah, we're all hanging in there and we're all together. So morale is really high up and, you know, we got a good group here. So it makes things easier. The thing that's really blown me away is how the whole cast has gelled so quickly. And I see a lot of friendships developing and just this great camaraderie. And it's a really cool mix of the skaters and the acrobats and everybody being really kind of blown away by what they all bring with their individual talents. I did like anything to get the flip around. And how he does it is like, he would leave and have his body straight in the air and then have his always look front and have his feet come around for the backflip. On the ramps, I always look back to see like the spot where I'm landing to, which is normal for us, but for them it's like, ah, oh, shitty backflip. I'm like, thanks, man. <laughs> right from the beginning, the acrobats started to learn to skate and the skaters started to learn some acrobatic moves. And from that moment, everybody <laughs> realized how difficult each other's strengths were and had an amazing respect for one another. So it's been wonderful to see that happen. My big challenge is to skate now. I need to do juggling on the ice and we are like 20 people. So it's a big challenge, but it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, my particularity is patinage freestyle, break dance, acrobacy sur glace. It's easy to do what we know. The plus compliqué, c'est après s'adapter avec tout ce qu'il y a autour, tous les nouveaux éléments, les circassiens. C'est ça, c'est un beau challenge. I've been skating professionally now for almost six years. There's a number that I do with some of the other girls that's very like modern and artistic that I like. I'm obsessed with. So it's like my little chance to show what I can do. Je suis professionnel de rollerblade agressif. J'essaye beaucoup d'affaires que je suis habitué de faire sur la rue, mais on dirait que la glace c'est vraiment pas pareil. Puis on dirait que ça me faisait pas peur, mais là je vois que la glace est aussi dure que l'asphalte. Mais là on a fait des rotations en l'entrapant, puis ça a super bien marché. Mais là le bâton est un petit peu moins haut. Dans le milieu de la rotation, j'ai pas attrapé le bâton. J'ai pas atterri ses pieds, j'ai atterri ses genoux. Mais d'après moi, trois quatre jours je suis correct. It feels so great. It'll feel good because you're, you want to. Yeah, yeah exactly. The doctor said it's the ligaments PCL in the front, which are 40% déchirés. Ça, ça prend à peu près 4 à 6 mois avant que ça revienne à 100%. Mais au moins, je peux faire tout le spectacle. Juste pas que je retombe dessus. Je peux pas que je tombe. On a un petit jeune euh, qui vient de, de Mongolie qui s'appelle Oshir, qui va faire des équilibres sur chaise à une hauteur assez impressionnante. I start uh, when I was nine years old, contortion and handstand. On top, I just hear my breath, also heartbeat, I feel only that. Like all the way through, you have to feel the chest legs, you know, like with your part of your body. If you don't feel, the chair's gonna kick you out. I'm still not feeling yet, so I'm really hard, working hard on it. Today we're going to present the show in its uh, entirety and we're very, very excited and we're going to present it to uh, Guy La Liberté. It's kind of cool being able to perform for Guy La Liberté. He's kind of a legend so it's, we're all, you can feel the excitement in the arena and it's 
the first time we've really done everything full out with costumes this week, so it's it's exciting, it's good. Skate away. Skate away from the mall. Find the one inside. Find the one inside. Find the one inside. Je suis comme le prince charmant. Alors, euh, Nobby va chercher une personne avec qui danser et euh, elle cherche à droite, à gauche, elle voit personne. Et moi, je vais arriver par au-dessus. On essaie de passer de l'émotion dans ce numéro, mais euh, je trouve que le mariage des deux disciplines euh, marche vraiment bien. Ce qui est bien, c'est que tout est inventé, tout est surprenant, mais on ne veut pas non plus faire ça que pour la nouveauté. Il faut quand même que le niveau soit là, parce qu'on ne peut pas avoir comme excuse « Oh oui, mais nous, on est sur la glace ». Le but du jeu, c'est que les gens le, le sentent, mais que ça ne diminue pas l'aspect acrobatique, et ça, c'est pas évident. There are a lot of great things in phase on the skating world, which is something we've not present very much. So take this advantage. It's the first time we, we work with, with this discipline and show how differently you treat it. That's what people will expect. Seeing all these people getting together and, and learning from each other and discovering new ways of expressing themselves artistically, for me, this is what I find very exciting. And that's why I say I love the journey. Savoir que nous, on a poussé un petit peu le bouchon un petit peu plus loin. On a de l'interactivité vidéo. C'est-à-dire que la vidéo qui va réagir avec les skateurs et qui va changer en fonction de ce qu'ils font. Je dirais que l'esthétique, on a essayé d'en créer un, un, la nôtre. On est des fois dans quelque chose qui est un petit peu plus vintage, années 60, un petit peu fou. Mais des fois, on va dans des extrêmes qui sont un peu plus futuristes, avec des lignes, avec des choses un peu plus épurées. Parce qu'il faut savoir que tous les mondes qu'on va traverser à travers ce spectacle, c'est dans sa tête. Et euh, on s'était demandé si on travaille la mémoire. La mémoire, elle ne réagit pas de manière linéaire. On peut passer d'une chose à l'autre. Donc, je dirais que chaque tableau, il a une influence différente. Shading all the naked parts. We're at the moment in the process where the artists start to learn to do their own makeup. I have 14 pages of step by step makeup I have to learn. So the biggest challenge for them is to be totally beginners in makeup and to do like a professional type of makeup. So we're showing them everything, like how to hold a brush, how to blend, how to be precise and everything. Crystallize the world. There you go, guys. There's a little crystal for you. For a lot of them, it's very new stuff. So they never did that before, especially guys. C'est vraiment la première fois pour nous qu'on fait ça. Par exemple, nos sourcils sont pas égaux. <laughs> Never done before. The makeup is the most stressful part, <laughs> more than the show. Things are moving fast, we are almost uh, ready to leave. Uh, I think people are uh, pretty uh, excited about moving on to Lafayette, Louisiana. So we'll have all of our tools with us because we're missing a few pieces here due to the building configuration. I'm someone new in a new place. Sharp tingle, a chill, a smell I've never smelled. Steel, glass, tall, taller. The air is crowded. I am someone else. On a un show maintenant. À Saint Rock, on avait peut-être 70% du spectacle parce qu'on n'avait pas le track and trolley qui le rail qui nous amène d'un endroit à l'autre. On avait un enchaînement hier avec public, une super belle générale. Tout le monde était habillé. 
Le spectacle, on s'en va dans la tête de notre personnage principal, Cristal, et à ce moment-là, elle va découvrir sa voix intérieure et tout ça va passer à travers l'écriture. Donc, moi, je suis partie de cette idée de trait d'écriture pour voir un peu tous les personnages à travers sa main à elle. Work always pays off. To develop something like this on this big of a scale of a show, it takes the 12 to 15 hours. It takes the coming in extra early, getting the warm up, leaving a little bit later just to finish things up. I can't wait to start this tour. This is the world premiere in Montreal. So everybody is excited, everybody is uh, somehow perhaps nervous in some levels. Since Lafayette, we have been working on the fine tuning mostly and also just making sure the performers really are getting comfortable within the path they portray and the overall scene they play. I'm so happy about the show. I'm so excited to be here for the world premiere and to see all the work that's been now put in over so many months and to see it all finally coming together and, and really gelling and looking so beautiful. I just can't wait. We're super excited for tonight. I feel like it's been a long time coming uh, for us to get to Montreal since we created the show. and. It's going to be really exciting to see the reaction this evening. Stressé, euh, bah, de la pression, normal. Mais euh, non, ça va. Je pense qu'on est prêt. Je pense que ouais, on a bien travaillé, on a travaillé fort tous les ces derniers mois, ces dernières semaines là, et puis on en a remis une couche euh, ces quelques derniers jours pour euh, vraiment que ce soit. Euh, en tout cas, euh, on va essayer parfait pour euh, la première. The public is the best part of the performance because their reaction it lets you know how how you're doing, and, and I've done my job well. If I can make somebody laugh or cry or react in any way, so that's the best part. I'm incredibly, incredibly, incredibly proud and excited to introduce Crystal to Montreal. A year ago when we were writing it, we had storyboards and, and scenarios, and I feel like when I see the show now, I see all of those storyboards. I see those first scripts, and that's an amazing feeling to have thought of like a little, little seed of something and watch it come to life on such huge scale. We're gonna remember this day for the rest of our lives, and. We're spending it together and I'm really honored to spend it with all of you amazing, amazing, amazing people. Everyone, be safe, have fun. This is the beginning of an amazing journey. Thank you all. Merci. Woo! I want to welcome the world of skating and skaters 
because this is a brand new world and it was such a fun time to mix and not to do a show that we've done like with circus people but to have a new family we join join together with the acrobat and i think it's uh, we open the door and i hope people will do more shows like that and we had a blast and you guys you were so good yeah. i don't want to do any more shows in my life this is the end of my career <laughs> that's over i'm done